Welcome to my review of the Masterbox Q500L case. I will call this the misunderstood case. And the actually the modder's dream. Why? Is because what could be better for airflow than massive gaping air holes? I got this idea from Gamers Nexus where they just enlarge the holes without removing the things, uh, without removing the actual areas. So what I decided to do with this case was actually create gaping holes for fans, for three fans, one exhaust fan, and the case is gonna be like this. So it's gonna be an inverted case. Why is this a modern stream? Because you have all these little holes in it and courtesy of Gamers Nexus, you could use one of these drill bits. Possibly you could do a much better job with a Dremel that's gonna be also cleaner. What I'm finding with my experience is that we have these jagged edges. But what I'm doing is I'm fixing them with the, these guys and I'm trying to straighten them out. But they're also facing inwards. So as long as they're straight enough, uh, I, I can't really cut on them because on this side there's going to be the fan filter and on this side there's going to be the fan. So the jagged edges are going to be covered up with fans actually. So what I did was I put a fan next to the thing and I drew with a sharpie where the center hole is for the fan. So this is where the screw is supposed to go and I made this. So then with the Dremel no, no, not the Dremel. With the drill bit, I drilled through this thing. It actually takes probably like five minutes per hole. And it's actually not too complicated. I used the box front that came with the case. Also on Amazon, here's the trick. Sometimes it says it comes in the original packaging box. Be like, hey, I want to use Amazon packaging. It doesn't cost you any extra. So... I don't think in this case there was the option, that's how it was sent. But our previous cases that ordered, that's how they wanted, like sending them. So this is where you have the extra box for this. Because you do have a lot of these crazy sharp metal shards after. So what I did was I first removed everything from the case. Everything that was uh, at least screwed down. I did not remove this part, maybe I should have. I don't know. But anyways, my next step is to straighten these guys out. Perhaps, I guess, I'll leave the edges a little bit. But you see, when you're drilling through like this, you have all this jaggedness. So, another reason why I think it's a misunderstood case is that, okay, make sure when you're doing any stuff, make sure you're wearing protective equipment. You have to wear goggles. You have to wear the, these things. Apparently, everybody has a mask nowadays because of uh, human malware. But anyways, whew, that's that's how i'm i'm seeing this case the reason why i like this was that it was the compact size you could put the power button on either side so for me i needed a case that would fit into a 15 inch area uh because i'm rebuilding the pc and this is the smallest size atx case i could find where you, there's no compromises with having the atx board why do I want an ATX board? It's because currently I have an ITX board and I want to install fiber optic networking called SFP+. I need more than one GPA, GPU slot, uh, PCI express lane slot. So I got a really nice motherboard from uh, ASUS, I think X570-E, which I liked that had 3.2 Gen 2 ports and all the ports are 3.2 Gen 2. So they didn't bother with just regular 3.0. They didn't bother with 2.0, seven ports, or 3.2 Gen 2. It's a $300 board, but I figured if I'm going to build something, I might as well use the, the nicest board I could find. I usually like, like Gigabyte. That's what my current ITX build is with. Uh, but I'm sure the ASUS is probably going to be fine. So why is this case misunderstood also? Is if you read the reviews and watch the reviews... Even Gamers Nexus spent a lot of time with this case where they tried different fan configurations and they found that uh, it's too hot. I think the reason for it being too hot is because of these crazy perforations over here 
and there's no air pressure. So if this was just covered up maybe, and you just had the, these fans, cause that's how usually cases are. You know, you don't have these holes. But then I'm realizing that these holes are probably the modern's dream is because you could actually put your fan wherever the heck you like. You have all these different areas to put the fan. And also, um, you know, obviously Master Box or Cooler Master does not advertise it to, to be, you know, to be drilled through. But Gamers Nexus said basically by enlarging these holes just a little bit, they got much better airflow and much better conditions. Also, what I like about this case is that original configuration obviously is like this, right? But different people have different desks and different setups for the things. So this is supposed to be where the CPU is, obviously. This is the exhaust fan, and this is supposed to be for a 240 millimeter rad. And up front goes the power supply. So compact-wise, I have to be careful touching this case because there's gaping holes here. I haven't had a chance to touch them. But my configuration is going to be like this. What's cool is that it has little case feet, and each side is basically equal. I mean, uh, you could take the case feet that were on the bottom and put them on the other side if you want to. Uh, so the realization I came up with is like, hey, I want an, so this is going to be the bottom. This is where they're going to be the CPU fan. This is going to be where the GPU is. And, then, and this is where they're going to be the fiber optic networking card, 10 gigabit. Fresh air comes in this way to the, to the GPU. Get some fresh air here. And there's going to be fresh air coming from the bottom to the CPU, which is going to tunnel it through. I use Noctua fans. I recommend them in general. Um, there's the NF-A12 by 25. NF-A12 by 25. My understanding is that those are the quietest fans you could actually, could actually get in the 120 millimeter configuration at least. So NF-A12 by 25. They also have uh, A12 by 15, depending on if you want the slimmer sized one. But I do have some actual um, other fans, RGB fans, that I'm probably gonna install these. These are maglevs I just had laying around. Uh, I think blue LEDs. I usually use Noctua's, but I don't care about the sound as much, and I kinda wanna do a little bit of RGB with this. So it's gonna be Blue light here, blue light on the bottom, and blue light on the exhaust. Knock to a brown in the middle for the CPU cooling. And I also ordered a couple light strips um, with magnets. So they're going to be on the bottom and on the, on the top accenting. So maybe I'll do uh, maybe a red, white, and blue. Maybe you make one white, make one blue, make it a flag um, color PC. So that's my suggestions. Always be careful. Always wear protective equipment. Um, only if you're doing things comfortably, I'm not going to tell anybody to do something at home that they're not comfortable with. Always do it safely. Always be careful. Uh, because you know, they say, do not try this at home, but th that's the realization I came up with. Also, if you see the Amazon reviews, the actual customers of this case love it. And I've seen ones where people used the Dremel. I just don't know how to use the Dremel. I do have a Dremel lying around somewhere, but what I don't like about the Dremel is when you're using, when you're rubbing against metal, sparks flying everywhere. And I don't know if you're supposed to wear the welding equipment because sparks have infrared light. That's why welders use the, the things because it could be blinding. So I don't know if that's necessary for that. I just didn't know this. I know how to drill holes. So drilling holes is very easy. Also with tweezers, you could actually bend these back and forth until this this part comes off so i don't have to make it a straight edge either because there's going to be a fan filter on this side it comes in the box it's magnetic and so this side this like ugly hole holiness is going to be covered up with a fan filter and on the other side is going to be covered up with a fan so nobody will even know that i ha i created a gaping hole to improve the airflow in this case so that's why it's still misunderstood case. You could put the power button here, power button here, power button here. You could do it upside down. You could probably do it on this side up. Uh, you know, put the P P monitor on the desk. So there's a lot of different options. Also, this case is compact. For me, compact is important. I personally also like 
the Rio Toro CR1080 case. CR1080 case. It actually, actually has a USB drive. Uh, sorry, the for a CD-ROM drive compartment. And it's about the same size as this one. But I needed um, a little bit of a different design for this. And I'm trying out a different design. And that one, you know, you only build it in a certain way. The glass panel is on the other side. So like that one, you couldn't invert it because the power button was on the, on the front. But this one, because the power button and the reset button can be moved around on either side, and you can flip and put the case feet on either side of the case, you are set either way. So thank you very much for tuning into my impromptu review of the, of what's this, Masterbox Q, Q500L case. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna have a lot of fun rebuilding my main computer with this. I'm upgrading from an ITX board that fits into an 15 inch area. So I'm gonna slot this in there. So it's gonna be a little bit thicker than my current setup, but I like the idea of having the full ATX size boards with the three PCIe, um, you know, CPU lanes because of having upgraded to 10 gigabit uh, networking, I can't go back. It's the best thing ever. All right, my friends, I'll see you in the next ones. Thumb up the video if you liked it and have a great day. Bye-bye.